The interval vector shows us the total amount of each interval present in a set. In this episode of the Set Theory Simplified series, we'll be learning about interval vectors and z-related sets. In 12-tone equal temperament, we really only have six different primary intervals. Not only do we not count intervals that are more than an octave, but any interval larger than a tritone can be thought of as a smaller interval oriented in the opposite direction. For example, C to G is a fifth, and G to C is a fourth. With our set theory perspective of octave equivalence, that distance could equally be considered a fourth or a fifth if a set had C and G, so for uniformity and simplicity, we mark those intervals with their primary interval, which is the smaller version of the interval, a fourth. The six primary intervals in order are a half step, whole step, minor third, major third, fourth, and tritone, or in terms of semitones, one, two, three, four, five, six. The interval vector shows us how many of each primary intervals are present in a set, and it's displayed inside the greater than less than symbols in the order of the primary intervals. The first number shows how many total half steps there are, the second number shows how many whole steps, and so on until the last number shows how many tritones there are in the set. We can easily see that a major chord contains a major third, minor third, and a fourth, but for larger sets, we have to make sure we compare every pitch against each other to derive the complete interval vector. To calculate the interval vector for the minor pentatonic scale, we start by comparing the starting pitch with all the other pitches, giving us a minor third, fourth, another fourth, and a whole step. Then we go to the second pitch and compare it against the rest of the pitches. We do this until every pitch has been compared between every other pitch, and we've marked the total count of each interval on our interval vector. I actually never calculate the vector by hand, I always look them up on charts or on an app. I'll leave a link in the description for a website that allows you to click the pitches on a keyboard and it tells you the interval vector. I like to use the free app Pitchy on my phone for set theory purposes like this. The interval vector tells us very useful information about the quality of a set, and even gives us insights into how to transpose sets with small or large distances in voice leading. Much of the effect a set has on the ear comes from the intervals contained in it, and looking at the interval vector allows us to absorb this information quickly. Just by looking at the pentatonic set's interval vector, we see that it contains many consonant intervals like fourths, and contains none of the most dissonant intervals of a half step or tritone. Equal divisions of the octave like diminished and augmented have very concentrated vectors on certain intervals. Interestingly, the major scale has a different amount of each interval in its vector. We'll come back to interval vectors to help us consider how to effectively transpose sets, but now let's learn about z-related sets. Z-sets are sets that have the same interval vector, but different interval patterns. It seems strange that different structures could bring about the same intervals, but it happens, and z-related sets debatably bear a rough resemblance to each other when listened to, because they contain the same intervals. I will finally teach set labels in the next video, but for now it's good to know that sets that have a z-pair have a z written before their label. Did you know a 13 chord and a sharp 9 chord contain the same intervals? They have two different interval patterns, but their interval vectors are the same, which interestingly contain exactly one of every interval. This is the only Z set among four note sets. Most Z pairs are found among six note sets. In summary, we can use charts and apps like Pitchy to look up the total amount of each interval in a set. The interval pattern shows us the number of primary intervals present from left to right starting with half steps ending with tritones. Z-related sets have the same interval vectors but different interval patterns and are marked with a Z on their label. What are your thoughts and questions on interval vectors and Z-sets? Do you think Z-pairs sound similar to each other? Let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and support me on Patreon.